Gluttony for us is obviously about um, digestion. Gluttony is just this disgusting. It's like walking through somebody's intestines. You're not walking on the ground, you're walking on stomach. You're not walking on mud, you're walking through feces. Kind of soft, but gross, squishy and fat. Bile infested, disgusting kind of areas. And these worms snapping and biting. You're almost like in the bowels of a beast. It's a beautiful place to be. It's pretty gross. Hell is really almost the, the biggest character in our game. Hell is the star of the show, there's no question. Of course, as you're progressing through the circles, the gameplay becomes more challenging. There's this sense of intensity, both in terms of what, what your enemies are doing, and also what the environment is doing to you. I knew to pull off a project this ambitious, we'd have to have an incredible level design team. So I was able to convince uh, Michael Chang, who's just one of the best in the business, Metroid Prime, God of War. Convincing him to join the team and basically lead the level design effort was almost emotional turning point for the project. There's this area called the Hall of Gluttons. And it's kind of like a mind trip thing where Lucifer is controlling your environment the way we try to stage the puzzle. That makes it feel like the environment is like alive. That's probably the best kept secret about the game. You're going to be treated to just unbelievable variety in the level design throughout the entire game. The notion of hell, kind of the underworld and the afterlife, has you know totally captivated people for centuries. It taps into our deepest fears. Everyone is afraid of death. People want to know, well, what's it like? Inferno is interpreted by a lot of different artists, and we basically wanted to take pieces from all of that. Some of the great painters um, of like the real medieval period, like Bosch and um, Bruegel, super crazy. Like the guy's got a bird for a head, and he's like pulling stuff out of his ass. And you know, Salamander Man is like eating the head of somebody. One of the great artists that's inspired us is Rodin. He was the first guy to do hell in 3D. He created the Gates of Hell, which is like a stunning sculpture, and it's just got all these crazy bodies in it. His stuff captures that like human element that we really want to go for. Gluttony is very interesting. It's very organic and gross and mucusy. It's based on the ravenous desires of those who can never eat enough. <laughs> We actually have an enemy that both vomits and defecates off of both ends. You know, I don't even know how she got the she label, but she's got the big belly, she's got mouths on her ears, mouths on her hands. It's another one of Wayne Barlow's great designs. She's got a great grab attack where she kind of picks you up and tries to eat you. She also has this projectile puke attack that really is uh, disgusting and, and a lot of fun. And then she also actually has a poop attack too. Cerberus is the traditional guardian of gluttony in that kind of ancient mythology. It's a three-headed dog. We've kind of abandoned that version of Cerberus. When I saw that, I was like, whoa, that's not how I would have interpreted Cerberus. That was one of Wayne Barlow's creations where it's, it's almost as the three heads have actually puked out of a human and it's just, just disgusting and it's, it's weird, but you can't take your eyes off it. <laughs> Blood is the third circle of hell, and it's going to get really weird pretty early in the game, and you've still got, you know, six circles to go.